Something is going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. Here we are again, everybody's locked down, it's 8pm, the curfew's kicked in, you got your masks on, we're all, all in our respective houses and having a great time. People are signing in everywhere, look at Carol's joined in uh, already, good old, oh, good old Daniel's yeah, calling us brutal, oh, how's that, eh? Hey? <laughs> You've even got a love heart already from somebody, we've only been on the air for like 30 seconds, so that's pretty cool. We go, um, so yeah, it's all very good, very, very exciting, and uh, hopefully you're all uh, looking forward to a great night on the tube with us. Uh, before we get too excited, I've got to introduce my lads, uh, MBS and Jeffro, how are you tonight, boys? Most excellent, dude. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on to something very, very exciting. People have joined us tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, something very, very cool. This is Jeffro's area. We're going to be gas bagging about what, Jeffro? Yeah, we're going to be talking about Doctor Who villains, although it's not really talking about it. It's more a case of we're going to um, do a little bit of a quiz because, I mean, a lot of these uh, characters, a lot of people uh, probably know that better than me. So I thought, well, I'll just turn it into a who's who A to Z of villains. So what I'm going to get you to do is keep a count in your own mind as to how many you get right or how many you get wrong. Now, it's not going to be overly tricky on some of them. Uh, so, for example, uh, with D, I didn't go Davros. I went the other obvious one. So I'm not going to be too much of a tricky person. There's a mixture of new and old. There's some in there that was a little bit of a struggle to try and fit into the alphabet. So um, let's proceed and we'll give you a clue as to uh, what the first one is and then we'll present it. So keep count and we'll see what the scores are at the end. So who's plastic, not fantastic, and has a gun behind the finger and thumb? So um, come up with your answer, give you a chance, and the answer is... Autons, I'm sure a lot of you probably got that out there. If you uh, didn't, uh, then um, let's see if we go better on the next one. So, so just, next one. just quickly, so if, for those people out there wondering what's going on, there's actually a seven-second delay by the time that we say something to the time that you actually type or will see this uh, appearing. So that's the reason why we're not waiting for everybody to put in their answers. Otherwise, we're going to sit and pad things out for seven seconds. So if you do happen to write the answer in after we've said it, we still accept that as being you're being correct. So, uh, so don't That's feel it. bad about it. Okay, so cool. Keep keep your keep your uh, score up there, so that uh, you know uh, how well you did at the end. Okay, so who wears a black bird and makes Turlo do his word? So uh, I'm sure a few people are going, oh, I know that, I know that, and your answer is Black Guardian. So well done, who got that? So uh, feels pretty easy so far, I'm sure for a lot of people, but uh, there's a couple of tricky ones in there. The next one we have, who's silver and easy to guess? One of the great nemesis. See what I did there? Some people probably recognize that. So the obvious answer is Cyberman. So uh, well done, everybody, if you got that. Uh, that Actually, one was, uh, I'm going to tell you, William's doing quite well at the moment. So there you go. Um, Aaron, you, want the ch you can do whatever you want. You don't have to write the answers on screen if you don't want to. So the idea being that uh, it's an honesty system here. Keep your own count as to yeah. whether you're scoring them correctly or not, because by the time you write the answer, we might be like two questions further down the line. So if you're writing them on the screen, so there you go. Okay, so there you go. Very good. Moving right along. Who's one of the greatest scares? Took him years to go upstairs. Now, um, it'd be disappointing if no one got that one um, wrong. I, I uh, thought it might have been under T for the Daleks. So where did, where did this one come from? This is a bit Well, of a this is actually uh, the design for one of the uh, Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who story. So uh, I know it looks really bizarre. And I thought, well, I'll pick it just simply because of the fact that, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's created a bit of a, uh, a controversy on the internet. So uh, it's not from Doctor and the TARDIS. It, it's not from uh, Joe's recycling department. It's not from a fan film. It's actually considered the next uh, Doctor Who in the, uh, the next uh, season. Uh, or as Kelvin puts it, rubbish. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Looks like, looks like a couple okay. of old metal bands stuck together. 
Yeah, it, yeah. it it really does feel like something I might have actually made in the uh, the backyard. <laughs> uh, Greg said a reconnaissance Dalek, so there you go. And steampunk Dalek. Jeez, we've got Daleks everywhere popping up here. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Okay, so maybe a little bit of harder one here for people. Uh, whose hand did one miss when fate went down an abyss? So the clue is, is in there with one of those words. So uh, let's see what the answer is. Eldred from Hand of Fear. So see what I did there? It's like the hand, that was a subtle clue right there. So I um, hope you're all paying attention to the uh, the, the, cl the clues. So uh, Eldred, that was it. I like, next one, think, I like how you're saying, did you see what I did right there? Because I'm just so clever. <laughs> that's it, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wordsmith. So, um, um, okay, this one is going to be fun. I don't think many people are going to get this one because you try finding it, villain that starts with F. It's F and hard. See what I did there? Uh, so, so at Christmas, up in the sky, saw these creatures able to fly. So I'll give you a chance to mull over that one. So are there uh, all these Doctor Who fans at the moment just looking at that question going, and their brains are just going thermonuclear because it's just so a, hard, these Fs. There's a, there's, there's a key word in there, and let's see what the answer is. It's flying sharks. Uh, it was from the uh, the Christmas story. So that's Christmas was like sort of the part that gave it away. So uh, there were some pretty crappy pictures of the flying sharks. So I thought the cartoon was cute. Oh, good on you. Yeah, there you go. A bit of controversy on that one. So there you go. Um, All right. The next one might be a little bit controversial too. So, uh, but uh, again, Claire, yeah, Claire said fat baby uh, Eddie pose. What's that? Is that that's a poo thing? Oh, hang on, wrong one. I'll get I'll get Bill or Kel to answer that one, oh, unless that's new. Who? Oh, that's oh, that's right. That's that sort of cherubic little sort of creature. Yeah, I know the one. Um, can't think of which story it's, but it's from New Who. Oh, there you go. So, Very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> I was the feature in the debut of the curly haired Doctor Who. So that one. Um, is in is in the wording there, so uh, if everyone's had a chance to think of it, the answer is actually before you go any further, this is a line you got to show. Look at that, my brain is <laughs> melted. It's just melted. I thought I like you were going to put Harry. I'm uh, melting. Yeah, very good. Um, anyway, you want the answer? Yep. Hang on, wrong button. Giant robot. So um, <laughs> there we go. So some people would have thought. R for robot, but and when you're stretching to find a G, giant robot, because it is giant. Well, okay. Catherine got it right, so there you go. Woo! Okay. Now, uh, this this one's a little bit trickier. Again, H wasn't exactly full of Doctor Who villains. The Doctor and the bad guy from history had a story twist that we weren't supposed to see. Thinking caps. Oh, you think, what is it? I'll give you a clue. It's new who. That helps. All right, let's see what the answer is. It's Hitler. So there was actually a story called uh, Let's uh, Kill Hitler, and in actual fact, they inadvertently save him. So that's where the uh, the little clue was alluding to. So uh, there you go. They save Hitler, many... and he, uh, and he uh, earns good interest. So there you go. I like that. So, so there you go. don't know how many people would have got that one, but that was got to have a hard one there. Separate the, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so mm -hmm. to speak. Very good. Anyway, uh, on to a more easy one, I think. We're mm. awfully big and something to fear. Just when we talk, we're hard to hear. Mm. All right. So I uh, wonder how many people are going to get this one. I, th I thought it was a pretty easy one. But the answer is Ice Warriors because they whisper. That's the, uh, the little clue there about the hard to hear. So uh, uh, that... Uh, well-known character in Doctor Who, uh, so I think hopefully most people got that one right. Moving right oh. along. Yeah, uh, a couple of fancy of free. Uh, Kelvin said the silence, so there you go. He's obviously got that one wrong, so there you go. <clears throat> in, in terms of size, we're super duper and much tougher, uh, and much tougher than a stormtrooper. Hmm, that actually is a very cryptic clue. Even mm. if I do say so myself, and I actually wrote it, so. Uh, <laughs> Um, I had to look at what the heck it was. So, 
<laughs> just remember it's J. So just think J, J. All right. So let's see. It's the Jadoon. Oh, so uh, they were, they were, um, they were the military uh, arm that um, I sort of related to stormtroopers. So uh, well done to everyone that, got, everyone that got that. Carol, Carol was very quick on that one, so she picked that one up very, very quickly. So well done, Carol. Ex there you go. The brain may have melted, but it's there obviously reformed itself, which is good. Yeah, to see. it got the uh, just like Odo from Deep Space Nine. So. Um, <laughs> Adam's just said Jar Jar. Yeah, good on you, Adzi. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. so the next one we have is K. So stretching a bit on this one. So that's why I gave you some really good clues. I'm in a sand crawler, but not a Jawa. On three laws, we'll have to try harder. Hmm. Well, Aaron's got an answer for this one. Is that correct? It uh, might well be. The answer is killer robots. <laughs> so oh, basically, they, they were on a... <laughs> They were on a sand crawler, and because they're robots, they weren't following uh, Asimov's three laws of robotics. So that was the uh, the hint, hint. So was so again, is a crinoid actually a bad thing or a bad character or a good character? Oh, crinoid is actually uh, a bad character, and and um, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't actually think of that. But uh, um, I was going off the internet <laughs> trying to find things, and it just that didn't come up. You know what that means? You're a bad nerd, Jeffro. So there you go. Oh, it was it was really a, a trick to uh, trick Greg off the uh, the scent and make him lose. Oh, there you go. Okay, so the uh, next one we have is L. Who's the best she thinks that's ever been? Otherwise, thinks she's a bitchy trampoline. Oh, okay, that's a pretty obvious clue if you know your uh, new Doctor Who. Others think she's a bitchy trampoline, and it's Lady Cassandra. So there you go. Um, hope everyone got that. Uh, that was a, a nice, easy clue. Yeah, yeah. So you've upset a few fans because you didn't do the crinoid thing, dude. So there you go, Jeff. Oh, Rocks. what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Okay, I, I've lived forever and a day. So smart. My brain's a toupee. Hmm. That uh, that clue there, the brains are to pay. It should give it away for some people, I hope. And the answer is Mordron from Mordron Undead. So uh, um, first thing I thought of when I saw the picture is I thought, uh, yeah, he's wearing a uh, William Shatner brain toupee. So, um, <laughs> oh, okay, let's move uh, along. You're all doomed, all doomed. And how? Oh, and no jokes about giant cows. So this one is a bit of a tricky one. We are looking for the letter N, and that's actually a line from the uh, the, the actual episode itself. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. And uh, in, in fandom, some fandom circles, they refer to this villain as a giant cow. All right, let's see how we go with that one. It's Nymon. Oh. So... Um, not one of the best stories in Doctor Who, but I needed an N, and that was it. So uh, <laughs> one of Richard Freeland's uh, favourite characters, episode 108. So there we go. Anyway, moving right along to O. I was great, and then things got worse. Found myself in a negative universe. Hmm. Can anyone guess that one? Hmm. Kelvin got the and, previous. Because it's... O, it's the answer is Omega. So there we go. So um, Omega. Oh my. Anyway, <laughs> let's. <laughs> I thought you okay, would have so that one. This, this, this one was a really tricky one because uh, there's no big, big P's in, um, <laughs> sorry, no, no big P's in uh, villains in Doctor Who. So. Manhattan may be the place to go, but if your name is Laszlo, maybe no. So um, the clue is in the uh, the word Manhattan. So uh, anyway, let's give the answer, and it is um, Pigman. Oh. Yeah, that's that's pretty obscure. And yeah. believe it or not, they actually made a uh, an action figure out of that, and every time I was searching it up, it's like people – were posting these things saying worst action figure ever. So you know, um, not not a big seller, I, I guess, on the uh, the Doctor Who collectible market. Aaron was, was Aaron was very quick on getting that answer right. So he was really well really done, Ant. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. 
All right, so the next one is a bit of a stretch. Uh, the Rachnos and Sithra are both mean. Ruling them is an alien. What? Okay, the answer is Queen, Queen Spider. So I'll take Queen or Queen Spider, uh, but obviously considering it's the letter uh, Q, then it's got to have at least Queen. So uh, there we go. I'll take either. Not going to be too fussy. Catherine got Queen. Okay, so yep. Yep. I'm mm -hmm. a slime ball with a creep laugh. It's enough to make poor Perry barf. I shall skip that. That's S. Um, I think I might have mucked up the slides. But uh, anyway, if you guess it, uh, you guess it right. <laughs> Sil, that's it. Sil. Sil. So uh, somehow the R uh, got um, missed out. So R, damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you if you wanted to guess what the character uh, villain for R was, uh, if you guessed Rani, then uh, that was what it was going to be. So uh, give yourself a point if uh, if if you want uh, for Rani. So, so moving you, right along, you've guessed unless, the answer that knowing the question. I love it. So that's well done. Um, um, well, it's easy to yeah. do when you get relocated. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, this this one is using um, uh, a little bit of a stretch because it's it's the word the. I'm degenerate who can regenerate. I'm the villain. You love to hate. That's pretty beneath. So um, remember, mm. it's the something. Even I knew this one, and I thought, yeah, I, this is my I, sort of stab. I think I know this one. Yeah, All yeah. right, so the answer is the master, of course. Got to give you some easy ones there just to boost up your confidence. So well done, everybody. Well done, Dags. Even you knew that one. That's pretty cool. Yep. Okay, yep. so the, uh, the next one, deep under you'll find me. I'm trouble wet, you'll see. Okay. It's amazing Anyone how many gonna... master right, by the way. Says, oh, mistress. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Okay, Kathy. so deep under, you'll find me. I'm trouble wet, you'll see. Some cryptic clues there. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's uh, underwear. So nobody got that one right. <laughs> no. You're we won't idiot. do that uh, to you. We, we'll actually give you a proper answer to guess. So for those people that did guess, um, oh, dear, not that menace. Oh, sorry, um, here's the answer to the other kind, the underwater menace. So there you go. That's, that's the true answer for you. But if you did guess underwear, give yourself bonus points. Seriously, give yourself triple points. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> So the next one we have, the letter V, we judge you and hang on, put you on. Hang on, Jeffro, this is just for yeah. you, mate. You know, what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's a curveball. Anyway, he'll judge you and put you on trial. Behind his facade, he's really quite vile. So um, I'm really clever if I don't say so myself in writing these uh, little um Clues here, but uh, anyway, the answer for that one is the Val Yard. So uh, hopefully, uh, a few people got that one. Yeah, I, William hopefully... got ball. he got that one very quickly. So yeah, yeah. The 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 clues for some people are going. Oh, gee, I got that tape without even ha using the clues. Anyway, we're in the home stretch, so we have uh, W. Uh, Colin, I actually thought of the Lord Vile as well when I first saw that clue. So uh, there you go. <laughs> I am a god, such a big deal. Ha, huh, I'm just Magnus Greel. So um, going back to one of the earlier uh, Doctor Who stories, so um, the answer we have is Wang Chiang. So um, that's our W. He had talons, didn't he? Was he? Is that the talons? Yeah, the that's the, that's exactly right. The talons are Wang Chiang. Oh, so uh, look at me, uh, the Doctor Who nerd, all of a sudden. Don't I know Jim? Shit, huh? Generally considered one of the uh, the best stories ever in the uh, the Doctor Who um, uh, universe. So uh, always up there in the top polls, guaranteed. So, um, oh, Jeffro. Jeffro, yeah. Did everyone have fun that night? Did everyone Wang yeah. Triang that <laughs> yeah, night? That's right. Yeah. I like how there's all these different spellings of Wang and Wang and Wanger and a lot of Wait till one so of who put, did, anyone put, 
Did anyone put Wanker Chiang? No. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Hey, anyway, moving on. So we have uh, Torchwood. Look for it for a while, but they didn't have this file. Mm, that's a very cryptic clue. Very, very cryptic. Very cryptic. Anyway, let's see very what cryptic. the answer is. It's uh, X Files because. I couldn't think of anything X, so uh, it's X files. So nobody's going to get the whole complete twenty six out of twenty six. I can guarantee, unless someone um, said, "Oh yeah, I did that. I figured that one out." Because I'm a genius at fill figuring out Jeffro's cryptic clues. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> otherwise, don't fool yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, exactly. Anyway, right. two last two to go. We have the letter Y. Thank God for that. He's big, hairy, and cuddly. I guess. But I'm not talking about Brian Blessed. Hmm. Actually, uh, that one should be a pretty good clue for most people. So uh, the answer we have is the Yeti, of course. And uh, when you look at him, I mean, he is big and uh, cuddly looking. So that was one one of the things fans tend to sort of say, well, he's not really scary. But um, it is what it is. Uh, Catherine and Aaron were very quick on that. Uh, well done to those two. So, well, yep. And the uh, I thought it was you, you Jeff. I thought it was you in your in your um, chewy costume. Yeah, it sort of looks a bit like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the Turkish Star Wars Chewbacca, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Terror is what they do best. Starts with a Z. You can guess the rest. So uh, I think everyone's going to love this one because it's a nice, easy one. Terror okay. being the obvious word. Z, how many Z characters can you think of? And the answer is Yetis. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Zygon. So uh, well done to everyone for um, participating. And um, I'm sure we're going to get uh, some scores coming up at the very end just to uh, see mm. who did the uh, best. But you're all winners in my book. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, golly. Except like for Daniel. People, a few people got uh, Zygons, which is good, um, except Aaron. He started off with Zabi, so I don't know what that is. So uh, there you go. Oh, oh Zabi, uh, the uh, William Hartnell um, villain. Okay, very good. Holy guacamole. So uh, is that like shame? A, what was that? I said yes? it looks like a shaved down Yeti. Oh, golly, there you go. Um, uh, like Ange got two. And Aaron got 20, 27. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> oh, golly. Very, very cool. So there you go. So, yes, tabulate, tab, tabulate your answers, everybody. Uh, big round of applause for Jeffro's fantastically wonderful work Ooh. and his clues that even impressed himself. So, uh, oh, golly, there you go. And um, Catherine, yeah, Catherine got the X Files one correct. So that's pretty good. So here we go. Oh, there you go. So, so all I can say is, I do love to enjoy putting together a rhyme, so I hope you had a very good time. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a break. So there you go. Um, my score was adjusted up for being in lockdown. I like that, Aaron. So very good. Oh, geez, there's a lot of responses coming through, plus a few more. We didn't know the name, but it didn't. well done, Jeff. I was wrong three times. Yeah, um, there's a couple of fours, zeros. Uh, yes, very good. So there you go. Yeah, um, sorry, oh, sorry oh, Greg, oh, about oh, not doing the crinoid. Sorry. Uh, yes, yeah. so an extra point because <laughs> you didn't get crinoid. Uh, so there you go. And Catherine said the clues were excellent. So there you go. You got a fan, Jeffro. Yay! So, so uh, yeah, so I reckon underwear is definitely one that uh, was worthy of a, a good answer. So there you go. I was wrong three times. Very cool. All right. So what you guys, there's no award for winning that, by the way. It's just like a no. uh, biggest nerd in town. And uh, it's yeah. a pat on yeah. the back. Give yourself a uh, give yourself a what do you call it a um, uh, measure what do you call it? a temperature tech check check because if you're going to do that you have to do this right <laughs> so there you go uh, the uh, Colin you get a point from my book for saying uh, the vial so uh, yes there you go has learning the rap from the Big Master the Greatest Round the Galaxy so there you go here we go yeah, definitely look at that been learning rap see it's, yes how good is that 
Very cool. All right, so we're going to move along. So tabulate your answer, send it through uh, when you get a chance, and uh, yeah, have a hope you had a bit of fun with that. Very good. All right, it's nine thirty. It's time for us to buzz off, even though we've still got oh, actually people leaving us already. So they're, they've had enough nerdy talk from us. <laughs> so we're going to buzz off. Any final words before we go, lads? No. Not really. Very good. In that case, in, in the interim, we'll see you next week for our Star Wars talk, if not in two weeks' time. And uh, make sure you stay safe and, very importantly, stay nerdy. Okay, take care. Bye. See you. See you.